Lavu on the iPod or iPhone is relatively simple to use. You'll be able to, as you can see here, on this is my iPhone 6S. Uh, it's not the larger one, it's the regular size one. Pretty normal screen for this. It's slightly smaller for an iPod or an iPhone 5, but still relatively easy. Um, once you log in as a server here, you'll be able to kind of go into your dining room. If you have multiple dining rooms, you'll be able to scroll between the two of them. Using two thumbs, I'm now just zooming in on the, the dining room area. So as long as you know which tables you are, you can use this table. From the Lavu button, the top hand left, you're able to go to your tab layouts. So quickly and easily run a tab. So depending on how your servers operate, they can run tabs, they can open tables, um, or we can go right out of the quick serve. So the iPhone or iPod are pretty easy to just jump right in and, and utilize from either the server's own iPhone or iPod, as long as you give them the passcodes for it, or you can have some bought for your restaurant. So let's go ahead and go back into our table layout. So here from our table layout, let's see the table seven, or actually we'll go to table 10 is available. Click on table 10, enter the number of guests. So screen's very similar to your quick serve screen that you normally have, except the options for payment and splitting textual on the bottom, uh, while up at the top is your menu. So from here, I'm gonna click on menu. What you're gonna see is you have first your category screens. So normally this is a button on your main one, but you'll be able to just click on your category. So let's go ahead and do drinks. Let's go ahead and do ice drinks. And it's a mocha. Boom. Okay. So again, slightly more steps as far as the server goes, but what we found is most servers will start to memorize these locations and places. Um, so obviously you go to menu. If it's breakfast time, they're going to hit breakfast right away. Their thumbs are going to go right to it. They're going to click on south of the border, get a Spanish omelet. It's course number one in this situation, seat number one, and boom, you're good to go. You now have a Spanish omelet on your menu. Uh, the biggest concerns that people have about the iPad, sorry, the iPhone or the iPod is that it's going to take servers longer. What we've actually done is set down and timed these servers and said, okay, well, what's the difference in them writing it down and then going back to the station and typing it in versus typing it in? So what you'll be able to do and see here is that they'll be able to send this entire item. So we're going to hit the send key, which is not hooked to a printer, so we're going to get an error, but we've now sent that spinach omelet and the enchilada plate back to the kitchen. Well, if I was able to do that at the table versus writing it down, then walking back to an iPad, then punching it in and then sending it, I usually save on average about three to five minutes in time frame. That means that in that three to five minutes, that server could have moved on to the next table, could have gone and checked on food, could have gone and gotten that mocha already and had that back. So you're going to increase table turnover as well as increase kitchen speeds. So a couple other cool things from the iPhone or iPod you can do. You can do your split checks right away. This is a, one of the great features, I think, from the table side ordering is being able to split the checks. So a lot of people don't tell you, hey, we're gonna split a check until the end of the check. You'll be able to click your split key down at the bottom and see how it's highlighted up there um, and be able to choose which items. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the Spanish omelet and the mocha here, plus split it again and create a new check. Okay, and so now I've got check one with the enchilada plate on it and check two with the mocha Spanish omelet. And again, I didn't have to you know, go back to my notes and try and remember which one it is. I can just ask the table which one's which. I can confirm with them that's correct. And then right from here, we can go ahead and save it or even print it right to the uh, right to the merchant. So click on checkout. And right from here, I can go ahead and just hit the print, the print check key and off it goes. Okay. Another cool thing is they're going to be paying cash. I can go right to paying cash. Or if I have the iDynamo attachment uh, with the device, I'll be able to go ahead and swipe the card at location and give the customer the iPhone to, to sign with. Uh, most of our stations and our clients don't utilize the swiping portion. Um, they still do the standard, take it back, swipe it and go that route. Um, I think as EMV and chip cards become more prevalent, we're gonna see an EMV chip card option. That way it can be done and pay the table. Uh, you will see on our website, we do have the PayPal swiper, uh, which allows you to EMV the table using your iPhone uh, or iPod which is another way to be EMV compliant and take Apple Pay, EMV, or MagStripe. Any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you'll see the iPhone and iPods are available on our website as well as cases and swipers to go with it. Thank you.